Chris is a tile designer. He designs tiles that come in different sizes. Each tile is made with yellow and blue ceramic squares arranged in a specific manner. Note this individual yellow and blue squares are not tiles. The picture below shows the four smallest tiles in ascending order. That is, tile T1 is smaller than tile T2, tile T2 is smaller than tile T3, tile T3 is smaller than tile T4. Chris can also make tiles larger than the largest one shown below. For instance, T5 would have 25 yellow squares and 96 blue squares. The tiles that Chris makes follow the pattern described by the four tiles shown below. How many yellow squares will he need to construct the 70th smallest tile? How many blue squares will he need to construct the 70th smallest tile? Note Note that this is a tile and these are called blue squares and this is a yellow square. So this is a tile. We're not going to call the little squares tiles. This is one tile and this is a yellow square. This is a blue square. Another big tile here, the fourth smallest one. Here's a blue square. Here's the yellow square. So for part A, we need to find out how many yellow squares will be needed for the 70th smallest tile. So basically, what we are looking for is how many yellow squares do we need for T subgroup 70? Now, take a look at this pattern here. The first tile needs one yellow square. The second tile needs four yellow squares. The third tile needs nine yellow squares. The fourth one needs 16 yellow squares. So what's the relationship between one and one, two and four, three and nine, four and 16? Well, you're squaring these numbers. So the 70th tile will have 70 square or 4,900 yellow tiles. Now go back and take a look at this one and one. One squared is one. 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. So I should have altogether 70 square or 4,900 yellow squares for the 70th smallest tile. Now we're working on part B. Part B wants us to find out how many blue squares will be needed for the 70th smallest tile. In part A we found out how many yellow squares excuse me how many yellow squares are needed for the 70th smallest tile and now we're going to find out how many blue squares are needed for the uh, 70th smallest tile. Now take a look at this. If this is 1, this is 3, this is 2, this is, I'm not going to put the dots, this is 5. Let's write that down. That's actually better. If this is 1. If you have 1, let me get rid of all the dots. For one yellow dot, you get 3, you get 3 blue squares. For two yellow dots, you get 5 blue squares. For three yellow dots, you get seven blue squares. For four yellow dots or squares, you get nine blue squares. What's the relationship between one and three, two and five, three and seven, four and nine? You're going to see it's twice four times two plus one is nine, three times two plus one is seven, two times two plus one is five, 1 times 2 plus 1 is 3. For how many blue squares would you have on this edge? For T subscript 70, how many blue squares would you have on this edge? By the way, the number of blue squares here is same as the number of blue squares here. The number of blue squares here is same as the number of blue squares here. So using that argument, we're going to have, um, on T70, we're going to have 70 times 2 plus 1, 141. 141 blue squares on this edge and also 141 blue squares on this edge. Sorry, 
141 blue squares here and 141 blue squares here as well. Now, that if you multiply 9 by 9, you're going to get 81. 81 shows the total number of squares needed. And if you multiply 7 by 7, you're going to get 49. 49 is the total number of squares needed. So if you multiply 141 by 141, you're going to get 19,881. 19, that shows you the total number of squares you need. That includes the blue ones and the yellow ones. From part A, we know we need for the for T70, we need 4,900 yellow squares. Now, if you subtract the total number of uh, total number of yellow squares from the total number of yellow plus blue squares, which is what we are doing here, you're going to get your answer, which is 14,981 blue squares.